Have you ever imagined a cosmic monster so powerful it swallows entire stars, warps time and space, and shines with the brilliance of an entire galaxy? No, it's not a villain from a sci-fi blockbuster. It's something far more real and awe-inspiring. The stellar black hole, or as some call it, the quasi-star. Buckle up for an epic journey through the universe as we unravel the secrets of one of the most enigmatic phenomena science has ever conceived. If you think the cosmos is just twinkling stars in the sky, it's time to rethink everything. Let's dive into this mystery that might just transform your view of the universe forever. Hey friend, before we embark on this cosmic adventure, how about joining our stellar crew? Subscribe to the channel right now. It's quick and you'll be part of a community passionate about science and the mysteries of the universe. Your subscription helps us bring more amazing content like this. So hit that subscribe button and come explore the cosmos with us. The universe is a breathtaking place, brimming with wonders that defy our imagination. Among these, few are as captivating as stellar black holes or quasi-stars. These cosmic entities are like superheroes and villains rolled into one, immensely powerful, shrouded in mystery, and capable of feats that seem impossible. Picture a star so massive that its core isn't powered by nuclear fusion, like ordinary stars, but by a ravenous black hole devouring everything in its path. Sounds wild, right? Yet, scientists believe these existed in the universe's early days. To understand how quasi-stars came to be, we need to travel back billions of years, when the universe was young, hot, and chaotic. Back then, the first stars, known as protostars, were true giants. Some were so massive that their cores collapsed under their own gravity, forming a black hole. But unlike a typical supernova, where the star's outer layers are blasted away, quasi-stars had such dense outer layers that they resisted the explosion. The result? A star with a black hole at its core, something that challenges everything we know about stars. These quasi-stars were colossal. We're talking about objects thousands of times larger than our sun, shining with the intensity of entire galaxies. Their energy came from matter falling into the central black hole, releasing staggering amounts of radiation. This process was so efficient that it kept the star stable, despite the gravitational monster at its heart. But like everything in the universe, their lives were fleeting. Just seven million years, a mere blip in cosmic terms. What makes quasi-stars so fascinating is their potential role in forming the supermassive black holes we see at the centers of nearly every galaxy today. These cosmic titans with billions of times the sun's mass are a puzzle. How did they grow so fast in a young universe? Quasi-stars might hold the answer. When they died, they left behind intermediate mass black holes that, over time, merged and grew into the behemoths that dominate galaxy cores. But how do we know any of this if we've never seen a quasi-star? Truth is, they're hypothetical. We lack direct evidence because, if they existed, it was long ago when the universe was vastly different. Still, scientists use theoretical models and indirect observations to piece together the story. For instance, gravitational waves, predicted by Einstein and first detected in 2015, are like echoes of black hole collisions. Studying these waves helps us learn how these objects form and grow. Another clue comes from gravitational effects. When a star passes near a black hole, its light bends, creating an effect called gravitational lensing. X-ray, infrared, and radio telescopes also help us study black holes at different stages, offering hints about their origins. Each discovery is a piece of a cosmic puzzle, bringing us closer to the truth about quasi-stars. Quasi-stars also push us to think bigger about the universe. They remind us that the cosmos 
is a place of extremes where the laws of physics are stretched to their limits. They spark philosophical questions too. If these stars shaped galaxies, did they indirectly influence the formation of our own planet? Would we even be here without them? As we continue exploring, technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope and gravitational wave detectors like LIGO are opening new windows into the past. Who knows? Maybe one day we'll find direct evidence of these fantastic stars. Until then, they remain one of the cosmos's greatest mysteries, daring us to gaze at the sky with curiosity and wonder. Now that we've explored what quasi-stars are and how they may have shaped the universe, let S take it a step further and dive deeper into their cosmic impact and the revolutionary ideas they inspire. Quasi-stars aren't just a thrilling chapter in the universe's story. They challenge us to question the very nature of reality and how far science can take us. Picture this. Billions of years ago, when the universe was a hot soup of particles, quasi-stars shone like beacons in the chaos. They weren't just big. They were cosmic titans with diameters thousands of times larger than the sun. Their surfaces burned as hot as 17,500 Driedrigsius, but over time, they cooled, their outer layers becoming almost transparent. When their temperature dropped to around 6,740 Driedrigsius, they could no longer hold together and collapsed, leaving behind an intermediate mass black hole. It was like a cosmic dance, with gravity and energy battling for control. Why does this matter? Because those intermediate mass black holes could be the key to understanding supermassive ones. Today, we know nearly every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its core, like Sagittarius A in our Milky Way, with about four million times the sun's mass. But forming something that massive in less than a billion years after the Big Bang is a scientific challenge. Quasi-stars offer a solution. They produced black holes large enough to grow rapidly, either by gobbling up matter or merging with others. Quasi-stars also tie into even bolder ideas, like the possibility that our universe was created in a lab. In 1991, cosmologist Andre Lind proposed that an advanced civilization could have used quantum tunneling to spark a new cosmos. This sci-fi-like idea is gaining traction among some scientists. If we, a relatively primitive civilization, are already probing black holes and the Big Bang, could a more advanced one have the tech to create entire universes? Quasi-stars, with their ability to harness immense energy, make us wonder if such extreme processes could be artificially replicated. Then there's the mind-bending concept of extra dimensions. String theory suggests the universe might have up to 10 dimensions, some curled up at tiny scales. A fifth dimension, beyond the three spatial ones and time, could explain phenomena like dark matter, which makes up about 85% of the universe's matter but doesn't interact with light. Quasi-stars, with their extreme gravity, might have left clues about these dimensions, perhaps in gravitational waves or space-time distortions. Meanwhile, the universe keeps surprising us with its vastness. We now know there are over a trillion galaxies, far more than the 100 billion once estimated. Among them are intergalactic stars, wandering alone after being ejected from their galaxies by collisions or supermassive black holes gravity. In fact, about 10% of the stars in the Virgo cluster are intergalactic. These stars remind us that the universe is dynamic, with objects constantly moving, colliding, and transforming. Scientists rely on incredible tools to study these phenomena. X-ray telescopes capture radiation from matter falling into black holes. Infrared telescopes spot distant objects like early galaxies that may have hosted quasi-stars. And gravitational waves, detected by LIGO, let us hear the universe, picking up echoes of cosmic collisions. Each tool is a window into the past, 
helping us reconstruct the story of quasi-stars and the cosmos. So, what does this all mean for us? Quasi-stars show us that the universe is a realm of infinite possibilities. They challenge us to think beyond what we know, to imagine a cosmos where black holes can power stars, where universes might be born in labs, and where extra dimensions could lurk around every corner. They inspire us to keep exploring, ask tough questions, and seek answers that could reshape our understanding of reality. So, what did you think of this cosmic journey? I hope you're as captivated by the mystery of quasi-stars as I am. If this video sparked your curiosity, why not subscribe and join our community of universe explorers? Your subscription helps us create more awesome content like this. And it's your way of saying, hey, I want more cosmic adventures. Plus, drop a comment below sharing what you thought of the video, what you learned, or any wild ideas you've had about the universe. Your story might inspire others, so don't hold back. Hit subscribe, share your thoughts in the comments, and let's keep unraveling the cosmos together.